Thanks for pulling over. Sure. Something wrong? We got a problem up ahead. A big accident. We've had to close the road. The right. We're diverting all traffic through Little Hope. You okay, buddy? You seem a little confused. Yeah, I'm fine. I just want to get these folks to where they need to be. I doubt a short delay will trouble them too much. Head up the East Road. Takes you straight through Little Hope. Adds almost no time to your journey. Chip any harder, it'll wear away to nothing. Right. How long have you been sober? A few days shy of three months. Impressive. I heard the first 90 days are the toughest and roughest. I know it doesn't add up, but I get something from holding on to this. We're going the wrong way. It's fine, just a quick detour. It's not fine. Calm down. Oh, okay. oh, please, John, could you not patronize me? Can you keep it down, please? James, you know I hate it when you don't take the things I say seriously. Come on, sweetheart, I do. I just had a rough day today. Can you believe they are at each other again? I can. You're drunk. What a surprise. I just caught the game with the guys, honey. That's it. That's not it. Never is. There's talk. Some of us may be losing our jobs. The factory... You've been saying that for years. I'm more worried about Megan. What's wrong with Megan? She looks okay to me. Everything looks okay after 10 beers. Reverend Carson held her back after prayers today. That's four weeks running. She's not right. It's serious, James. You worry too much about that kid. I can't deal with this right now. Another surprise. You can't deal with anything. When would be the right time? You're making a mountain out of a molehill. Getting yourself worked up for nothing. For nothing? Single-handedly keeping our family together Sam is far from nothing in my book. I could use a little help. Maybe if we'd had kids of our own, none of this would be happening. That's a real low blow. Don't you get how tough You're this is? You're not the only me? one feels pressure. The factory situation is serious, Anne. Real serious. Not right now. <gasps> not tonight. No way. I had a great time, and I really enjoyed the ride. Always happy to give you a ride. You're funny. Me? <laughs> mm -hmm. I gotta get away from here and my wonderful family, like right now. Come on. They're not that bad. You don't live with them. Catch you tomorrow. Let me check my diary, see if I've got room. Girls like me are in demand. Mm, no doubt. I'll swing by around 8 tomorrow. Damn, 
spice. I'm going to start climbing through the window unless that door gets fixed. How's things? Let me guess. He's been pumping iron again? They've been at each other's throats since Dad got home. What's it about this time? Dad's been drinking. Who could have guessed it? They're always fighting these days, getting predictable, like a record that keeps playing over and over. Dennis, for the 10 millionth time, will you shift that shit of yours up into the attic? Hey, some respect. This is a valuable, rare, and sought after collection. <laughs> I think she was a marine sergeant of past life. What's crawled up his ass? Just Dennis doing what he's good at. Being really Dennis. What a surprise. Hey, Dennis. Hey! Not now, sis. I'm busy. Crazy. <laughs> oh. Jesus, you scared me, sweetheart. I heard you talking about me. Not now, Megan. I'd like to have a bath in peace. Take a break from this madhouse for a while. Should talk to mom and dad. It's not a great idea for me to get involved. You know what I'm like? I just upset someone. They sounded more serious than the usual bullshit. They were talking about Megan. She's done something bad. I can't say I'm surprised. There's definitely something off with Megan. I don't get why everyone keeps picking on her. Okay, Mr. Shining Knight in Armor. Where's the little princess anyway? Megan's gone upstairs. Maybe you could go check on her? If you don't have other plans, I'll go find her. Dennis? You still up there? What do you want? Just want to know how my sweet brother is doing. Not so good. Bigfoot clumsy ass stomped all over my records. She's your baby sister. Anyways, looks like she's got better taste in music than you. <sighs> Never understood his fascination with this stuff. Which nosy going to be dead some little shit has been peeking at my diary.
Hey, Mom? You there? They don't care. They're not interested. They don't see me. To them, I'm invisible. That isn't right at all. I'm not doing that. No, I get blamed for everything. It's not fair. Hey, Megan. What's up? Not listening. Hey, who are you talking to? To someone who actually cares about me. You were alone. Keep acting all weird and someone's gonna come and take you away. What was that? You see that? <sighs> Megan. about my family. I think so too. Tanya, what's going on? That little brat locked me out. It's fucking freezing. I'll let you back in. Go easy on Megan. Hold on.
gotta get Megan out. Won't you spare me over till another back. Interesting. <sighs> Excuse me for a moment. Hmm. Life is as tedious as a twice-told tale, vexing the dull ear of a drowsy man. True, if the story has been told fully, completely. But the truth of this story isn't fixed. Far from it. A story can change a great deal when told from a different perspective. A chance to walk in different shoes, make fresh choices, discover new things. Disconcerting, no? I'm sure there's nothing to worry about. This particular story isn't fully fleshed out. 
It's only part written, and the choices you make will complete it. The fire, no, there was nothing you could have done about that. What's happened has happened. Or has it? Anyway, look to the future, I say. Life's but a walking shadow, eh? You are about to enter a confusing, perhaps disturbing world. How disturbing might depend on what you choose to believe and how confusing on the path you choose to take. There are an infinite number of directions in which one could travel. We seldom have all the information that we'd like, but we have to choose our path nonetheless and hope that we get the clarity and the outcomes that we want. As in life, your decisions will matter. The choices you make will affect others. You've seen how the story starts. So much death. How many more deaths is entirely up to you. It depends on the decisions that you make. What are you? Rational? Emotional? Do you trust your head or your heart? There is no right answer. Sometimes one is best and sometimes the other. My advice for what it's worth is to thine own self be true. But uh, <laughs> I'm here simply to record what you do, not to help you. <clears throat> I'm not supposed to interfere, you see. Not my place, apparently. But I am apparently allowed to share wise words from great storytellers that have gone before, where I feel that that would be appropriate. Oh, one final thing before I let you go. There are pictures in Little Hope that will, if found, show you a vision of a possible future, something that may or may not happen. Use them. They might help you. You have a funeral to attend. Off you go. Have fun. Hmm. I do enjoy a good funeral. None of us here today can understand why this tragic accident happened. But we can take comfort from the knowledge that the family are together for eternity in God's loving embrace. Where the hell's Daniel? I can't find him. I don't know. Ugh. Ugh. Fuck. 
Where's my phone? You okay? You don't look so good. I'm fine. Careful. There's no rush. Don't be such an old woman and help me up. <sighs> Not sure I'm the old woman here. What happened? We went over a bump in the road. Don't worry, you'll be fine. I know I'll be fine. No need for that tone. Sorry, I'm just trying to help. I don't need any help. Thank you, Daniel. Our professor and classmates might, though. Have you seen them? Hey! Anyone up there? Hey! Daniel, that you? John! Good to hear you. Daniel? Taylor, you okay? I'm good. We're fine, too. Thanks for asking. You okay down there? I'm all right. Nothing I can't deal with. Hey, John, any idea what caused the crash? Not sure. Looked like the driver swerved to avoid something in the road. He down there, by the way? Nope. No sign of him. Weird. He isn't up here either. Can you get back up to us? Looks pretty steep. I see a trail down here I could try. Great. Take the trail. Should take you to the road. We can regroup there. That's a plan. See you soon. That looks bad. I hope Taylor is okay. Taylor will be just fine. Girl has a knack for getting out of trouble. I know Taylor can be demanding, selfish, quarrelsome, and small-minded, but other than that, she's a real babe. I don't want to know. Daniel? Everything okay? I'm good. Just a little lightheaded is all. I'm thinking I'm gonna file charges against the college. For what? Having a bad night? The college are responsible for our safety. This nightmare is negligence. Not only have we crashed in the middle of nowhere, we're saddled with Jumpy John as our way out. Right now, our priority is getting out of here. Follow me. Why do men always feel they have to be in charge? I can find my own way. Thank you. You coming? Anything interesting? Shit. All busted up, broken. Hey, Daniel, you guys! I am not a guy? How are you two doing down there? This trail is the pits, but we're okay. This little detour is ruining my clothes. That's the headline here? Your clothes are ruined? Really? Easy. That outfit probably cost more than you earned in your life. You have no idea how right you are. At least someone here has some taste. Hey, what's happening here? Not much. I'm just keeping their spirits up. Daniel, you got your phone? Mine's got zero signal. My phone is fucked. Useless crap. Are we staying here all night? We're gonna keep moving. I cannot stand water. Ever since I was a kid, no way I'm crossing over. We nearly got mangled in a bus crash. And you're worried about getting wet? You don't understand. This outfit cost a fortune. There's nothing to it. 
Just follow me. I'm not sure you should be making decisions. You almost blacked out just now. Come on, it's easy. Oh, God, I hate this. That's it. <sighs> Keep going. You got it. Oh. Oh. Hell, I wish this was over. Oh. <sighs> <sighs> so, you can be a gentleman after all. Thanks. What is it? I don't get it. What exactly do you see in that girl? I have no idea which girl you're talking about. You couldn't be more obvious. When are you going to talk to Taylor? I'm not in any hurry. You should be. The longer you wait, the fewer chances you'll get. Caught enough fish in my time. Know how to reel them in. If Taylor was a fish, she'd be a bull shark. Stubborn, almost impossible to land, and with a nasty bite. Maybe you need to lighten up on Taylor. Whatever you say. I still cannot fathom what you see in Taylor. We should keep moving. Reach the others. If only I hadn't sat at the back of the bus. The hard ground is killing my feet. That pylon has to be near a road. Probably the one back into town. <clears throat> good to see you two. We finally made it. Everything okay? We're both good. But this gate is chained. We can't get through. Now what do we do? Look around, see if there's anything we can use to break it. Think this'll do it? Ready? I'll push hard from my side. Ready. Three, two, one, push! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I'm talking about! Great job, you two. What's the plan now? Head into town, see if we can get help. You know where town is? Sure, we're near Little Hope. Sounds like a fun place. Funnily enough, Little Hope does have an interesting and dark history. Can we get going without having a smart-ass lecture first? I'm starting not to like you or your attitude. I'm not even started yet. You want a little more? Try to be civil. Cost nothing. That's real peachy coming from you. Maybe Daniel deserves better. <laughs> You're kidding. He's not my boyfriend. What have you been telling her? I didn't say a thing. Keep out of our business, okay? You're right, I'm sorry. It's got nothing to do with me. We are wasting valuable time here. Can we please just keep moving? You think this is a solid plan, heading into town? As good as any. I went along with it before, but I'm not so sure now. So what do you want to do? How about you come with me back to the bus? I'm with the professor on this one. Our best play is heading into town and getting some help. How about you? You want to head back to the bus with me? Thing is, I think going into town is probably our best shot at finding help. Fine. Come on, Taylor, don't check out on us. It's a bad idea to be out here walking around alone. Come with us. Don't worry about me. I'll flag down the first car I see and come get you all real soon. Come with us. Are you kidding me? I'm not going anywhere with you. What? what? I walked away from you! Uh-huh. So you thought better of going it alone then. Why'd you come back? I don't get it. It doesn't make any sense. Lost in a world of her own. What the hell are you playing at? You going or not? Hey, wait, what are you doing? Taylor, look out. 
What the? What's going on with you? Why do you keep coming back? I'm not coming back. I walk straight out every time. It's like, I don't know, I can't fucking leave or something. Okay, let's try something. We'll all go together. We came from that direction. We must be able to go back that way. I want everyone to stay real close. No stragglers. You want to put us on a kid's line? Okay, okay, I'm coming. I admit, that is a little odd. More than a little. It's not possible. It's just like I've been saying, we are trapped. We can't leave here. Now okay. what do we do? Okay, calm down, breathe. There's a rational explanation for what's happening. Maybe we all died in the crash. Yeah, nice theory, but I'm pretty sure we're all still alive and kicking. Last I checked, you were schooling us on creative writing, not metaphysics. I know who I'd like to be kicking. This is all down to you, this pissy little field trip. Now we're stuck here in little no hope. That is way out of line. I had no way of knowing that damn bus would crash. You can't put that on me. Are you for fucking real? Watch your tone, will you? I am doing my best to understand this, just like you and the rest of us. You can't understand this, don't you get that yet? What I do understand is none of us would fucking be here if it wasn't for you. You think I'm to blame? I don't want to be stuck here with you either. Nice. You're the guy in charge. We're definitely fucked. Right now, the fog appears to be in charge. Anyone but you, right? Do us all a big favor and get lost in the fucking fog. I wish I could Please believe me. Please stop. Fighting isn't going to help. Where do we go now? We're fucked. We're not getting out of here. Someone else thinks they can do a better job? Step right up. Maybe it isn't real. We have to get out of here right now. I need to think straight. Football coaching. Why the fuck? Can everyone just shut up? This isn't helping us find help or getting us out of here. He's right. Bitching at each other isn't getting us anywhere. We have to work together as a team. Thank you. Now let's be logical. The fog is between us and the bus. There is no fog between us and town, so let's head that way. I don't get how heading further away from the bus helps. There is nothing on the bus we can use to get help. In town, there will be people, a working phone, something. It pains me to admit, but he's right. There is nowhere else we can go except into that damn town. Sounds like a plan to me. You leaving me? Where are you going? Come on, let's go with them. Until we know what's up, we should stick together. Why did you say we might all be dead? You really think that's possible? I saw some cable show about how your brain keeps going for a while after you... You know. You'd die? Forget about it. What they said didn't really stack up. <laughs> 